Yes, people. So today I'm going to talk about the art of shielding the ball and possibly why most of you aren't able to play higher up or play with men. Uh, this is a very important skill and it is a skill. Plus with some physical training as well, it could become a weapon. Um, I see a lot of young players when they're going to play National League first team, for example. One of the things that they struggle with is that pressure when they're defenders, especially wingers, when the pressure has been coming up their backside, basically, and they're not able to do the three. Basically, there's three different types of shielding, and each three has its um, use and its reasons. So number one, I like to call the pin. So the pin... It's something where you see people like Olivia Giroud, people like uh, Drogba, you know, very strong, you know, uh, strikers usually use this uh, move. But Kyle Saka, you can see in the clip above, you know, he uses this um, at times. Um, the pin is used obviously to hold up the ball, to if you want to set it back to uh, the player that's coming on your team, or to play inside or to play a bounce pass. It's really useful. Um, very easy all you've got to do is literally just grab hold of the defender that's holding you grab hold of them and they will say ref 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 now you can grab hold of them it's called a pin so you've got to pin them Drogba did so well you know especially where the referee was he knows where to grab their shirt or to hold them so if the referee is on the left side he will use his right hand to grab their hip or where the shirt is on their hip and to pin them so they couldn't move Defenders have spoken about when they, they try to mark Drogba and that is like literally like he's like <laughs> he freezes them that like you can't move and this is a very lethal weapon. Number two, I call the uncle. Okay, this move, the uncle move, is what I like to use or term I use because it's just pure strength. Uh, you see people like Ronaldinho, you know Ronaldinho, people don't understand how strong he was and he knew how to use the body very well, especially in the area where football is very. Um, very uh, physical so the pin is simple you just put your shot your hand basically into their chest hand all the your forearm into the chest and keep your uh, uh, the ball away from them put your body between the ball and this use i like to use this move when i was playing if i wanted to uh you know just basically just show the defender that this is gonna be a long day for you that's number one and two to just kind of calm the game down so i put my foot on the ball and i just play it back or i will touch the ball Hold him off there, faint, I'm going to go nowhere because the ball's standing still and I burst into open space. So the, the uncle move is very good. And the final one, which Okayo has mastered, is the roll. This one, if you can get this one as a winger, you'd be very dangerous. Now with this one, the roll, you got to know where the space is for you to roll into. Because there's no point rolling and you roll into another centre-back. Okayo is very aware of his, his surroundings. Hence why he's able to perfect this move. And whenever he rolls the defenders, you can see in a clip, he always most likely gets into space where he can burst into open play. So let me know what you think about this and let's go.